Deforestation is nothing to sneeze at. We're all pretty used to using tissues, but did you know that they are a recent invention? Before the 1940s, they didn't even exist. Everybody used cloth handkerchiefs. Few people realize that paper manufacture is one of the world's most environmentally intensive industries. But we can go tissue free quite easily by using cloth handkerchiefs. You might think that using a hanky is gross or it's a bit weird, which is kind of understandable because it probably is a bit gross at some point. Or you might wonder if tissues could really be that bad. I mean, isn't paper made from natural fibers, which are all compostable? Or what if I use tissues that are made from recycled paper? My name's Katie, I'm an environmental engineer and a zero waste evangelist. Before I delve into the wonders of the awesome handkerchief, let me explain the many steps of environmental impact that occur to make a box of tissues. Let's start with the trees. The World Wildlife Fund states, the trees that are used for tissue paper most likely come from the forests of Russia or China. And up to 50% of these trees are most likely harvested illegally. Plantations aren't much better. Natural forests that provided habitat for animals are cleared to make way for fast growing pine and eucalyptus. No box of tissues is exempt from potentially having an environmentally frightening past. In 2003, Greenpeace found fibers from the endangered ramen tree in the napkins served in KFC restaurants. These trees were logged illegally from a rainforest in Indonesia that sustains the last 400 critically endangered Sumatran tigers. Just like conventional food crops, tree crops are also irrigated, fertilized and sprayed with pesticides and then harvested and chipped using diesel fueled machinery. The wood chips are then pulped, boiled and steamed, a process that's a bit like making oatmeal, which requires enormous amounts of water and energy. The manufacture of each box of tissues requires 150 mils of crude oil and 32 liters, which is over eight gallons of water per box. And of course, then chlorine is added to bleach the paper white. But don't forget the end of the tissue's life as well. When these tissues go into landfill, they will release methane. And landfills account for 17% of America's methane emissions. Crikey, that's a lot. And all of this releases 220 grams of carbon dioxide equivalents for each box of tissues. But can't I use tissues that are made from recycled paper? Well, tissues are almost never made from recycled paper pulp. That's because paper can only be recycled a few times before the fibers become too short for the paper to stick together. And even if we do find recycled paper tissues, recycling is not an environmentally impact-free process. It has about a 30% lower environmental footprint, still leaving 70% of the environmental impact still there. So that's why to be light on the planet, we use reusable cloth to catch our sneezes, not disposable paper. Handkerchiefs are delightful. We have really just gotten out of the habit of using them. You've seen all this marketing about tissues being soft, right? We know what's really soft, cotton, flannel, microfiber knits, fabric is soft, paper is rough. I learned many a flu ago that using cloth instead of paper saves you from that awful nose rash you get after the thousands or so nose blow. This is a secret that tissue companies will not tell you. You can purchase a range of hankies made from bamboo or organic cotton from Amazon. Etsy is really a treasure trove of beautiful stylish hankies decorated with patterns and vintage embroidery. Not only is the hanky your nosy friend, you can make it a stylish accessory to both men and women's wardrobes and I have put links in the description below. To be even more eco-friendly, you can find an old sheet or an old t-shirt that you don't use or you can get one from a thrift store and make your own hankies. And I will show you how. Now we're going to cut this sheet up into squares. Oh, this is a really pretty sheet. That looks like a good size. Now this should give us a lot of hankies and you want enough of them, you know, so you don't run out. Then we fold it like this, give ourselves a square. There we go. And we can cut them. Have them like this. I love this beautiful pattern. It's got little shoes on it. 
It's nice and pink, nice and feminine. And then we have a super cheap and easy way to make a whole stack of handkerchiefs. You can hem them with a sewing machine to keep them neater and you'll never need to suffer a tissue in the wash disaster again. Look at this, beautiful. Oh, and we can fold them into a little chevron. Look at that, look at that. Very nice, very nice. So now we've got our handkerchiefs, how are we going to store them? A neat way to store them is to get a large glass jar like this and just fill it up and put this in the bathroom. So just like this, no organization, just stuff them in. There you go, you just have this beautiful jar to just sit right next to your bathroom sink. Or you can use an old Kleenex box like this. Fold your handkerchiefs into squares and just put them in the Kleenex box and you can just leave them like an ordinary box of tissues. And when you're out and about, you can just take a few with you, put them in a little pouch and just throw them in the laundry when you get home. Not only do handkerchiefs prevent trees from meeting their death, they can also boost happiness. Why? Hankies come in a wide variety of inspirational quotes. Who knew? Your day can be filled with moments of positive psychology reinforcements like this. Something wonderful is on the horizon. Your zero waste action is to quit purchasing paper tissues and when you feel the need to sneeze, reach for cloth not tissue. You'll enjoy your low impact living and how much more connected you'll feel to everything when you're not purchasing all of these disposable products. By quitting paper-based tissues, you can save the trees with a sneeze. Thanks for watching. If you take on any of these zero waste actions or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody has. Check us out on Patreon and if you love these videos, please consider contributing a couple of dollars a month to help us detrash the world. If you want more zero waste tips, get a hold of the Detrashed Manual. It's called Detrash Your Life in 90 Days. You can download it from the Detrashed Facebook page or get it from Amazon on Kindle.